Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Pastor Eddie Centeno ng Jacksonville, Florida ng Pilipino Family Gathering uh, Church dito po sa my Jacksonville, Florida. Again, pumabati po sa inyo ng magandang gabi. Ano po, happy Friday and again, thanks for uh, uh, a God-given time that we can study the Word of God. Uh, thank you. Thank you po sa uh, mga inyo, sa inyong mga Uh, walang sawang pagsama tuwing biyernes po ng gabi at sabado ng umaga sa Manila sa Sydney, sa Australia at sa marami pong bansa no, dito. at mababati din po ako sa lahat ng mga tiga US sa Jacksonville ang aming grupo dito at sa iba pong mga estado sa states uh, joining us and watching us tonight in our Bible study so we have a very simple uh, message uh, or uh, lesson tonight in fact uh, the, the message uh, title is uh, a simple happy life yet pleasing to the Lord po yung simpleng buhay pero masaya at kaaya-aya sa Diyos ano po bago po tayo magsimula uh, I would uh, I want you to visit our website our church website uh, visit us at uh, filipinofamilygathering.com this is ito po yung aming website so you can see uh, who we are where we are and uh, what God is accomplishing through our small group uh, this Filipino group here in Jacksonville Florida so again po our website is filipinofamilygathering.com and then meron din po kami uh, we also have a YouTube channel ano po and, and, and our channel name in YouTube Uh, where you can see all all our uh, Bible lessons, our Sunday services, is a uh, Filipino Family Gathering International Ministries. Ito po yung aming YouTube channel name, ano po, uh, Filipino Family Gathering International Ministries. So again, uh, visit us on our website. Uh, you can see it on our posting, ano po, when you go to our posting on Facebook. You will see our website name and also our uh, YouTube channel name. Ano po, and there you can uh, you can uh, go back to what's all the previous lessons that we are doing every Friday night and also during our Sunday services. So thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Uh, like I said, uh, it will be a, an exciting study of the Word of God because the Word of God is pure. The Word of God is eternal and The guidance of the Holy Spirit plus the Word plus our uh, heart attitude toward this Word and that's what makes it the greatest thing that we can have. Ano po? So let us pray po. Before we begin, let us pray and, and ask the Lord's guidance sa ating pong Bible study. Lord, we ask your blessing. We thank you God for another week that you have blessed us, you have protected us, and you have provided for us, God. And again, we can come tonight. Uh, with our friends from different parts of the United States and also from different parts of the world, especially in the Philippines and in Australia. Uh, we, we ask your blessing. We ask your guidance, God, and I pray that you gave us good signal, give everyone a good uh, signal with, the, uh, in the, uh, with their Wi-Fi or with their internet so that uh, your word will be uh, clear and that it, it will, Lord, bless our lives tonight. So, Lord, we ask the guidance of your spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. So, a simple happy life and yet pleasing to the Lord. And in Tagalog, a simple buhay pero masaya at kaaya-aya sa Panginoon. And I want, uh, I want to uh, uh, define to you the word simple. Ano po? Uh, kasi may mga, there are a lot of Christians ano po, uh, in fact, uh, other people, they define uh, being simple is Uh, by the things that they eat, ano po, the clothes that they wear, the house that they lived in, the car that they drive, and the things that they possess. Ano po, ay uh, sinusukat po nila yung pagiging simple o payak. Sa Tagalog po ng simple ay payak na pamumuhay doon sa kanilang mga sinusuot, sa kanilang kinakain, uh, sa kanilang bahay, sa sasakyan na kanilang minamaneho, at doon sa kanilang mga tinatangkilik. And yet, Simplicity po, it means, yung pong simplicity, uh, means, uh, it is, uh, simple means plain, basic, uncomplicated, ano po, and that's, the, that's the what I want uh, for us to learn tonight, that God wants us to live an uh, 
complicated life, yung walang masyadong uh, uh, hindi masyadong masalimuot, ano po. Uh, without much decoration or ornamentation, ano, yung hindi po maraming mga decoration at mga ornamentation doon sa mga buhay natin. A simple life, and yet we can see this in the life of a uh, Uh, the prophets of old and we can see it in the very life of Jesus Christ how simple life that he lived and yet very powerful and and pleasing to his father who is in heaven and then we also see it in the life of the of the disciples and also in the life of the apostle Paul ano po uh, a simple life now let uh, let me bring you to Psalm 27 Psalms for awit Psalm 27 7 verse 1 to 6 as a new living translation and this is David uh, 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 writing his confidence and his desire for God ano, si David po dun sa Psalm 27 1 to 6 ay uh, ipinapahayag po niya yung pong kanyang pagtitiwala sa kanyang Panginoong Diyos sa dami ng kanyang mga pagsubok sa dami ng kanyang mga kaaway at sa dami ng kanyang mga troubles na nararanasan and yet we can see a secret o hindi na secret dahil na isulat na niya no po it is written for us that we may learn ito po yung pong uh, a, a simple uh, trusting and uh, confidence in God brings about joy ano po yung pong pagtitiwala at uh, uh, pagkilala sa Panginoon let us go po uh, Psalms 27 verse 1 to 6 In the New Living Translation, ito pong sabi, The Lord, sabi po ni David, The Lord is my light and my salvation. He protects me from danger. Tingnan po ninyo, He protects me from danger. Now we're living in a world full of dangers. Ano po, the pandemic is not done yet. In fact, it's doing more, uh, uh, more serious problems and sickness uh, through many people in, in many parts of the world. Ano po? So, He protects me from danger. And then sabi niya, Whom shall I fear? When evil men come to destroy me, they will stumble and fall. Yes, though a mighty army marches against me, my heart shall know no fear. Ano po yung, yung, yung kanyang uh, loobin na hindi matatakot sa, sa kahit ano pa man. Sabi po niya, I am confident that God will save me. No, we are living in a world, in, in, in what is going on in the world that we need confidence in God that He is what? He is in control of our lives. He is in control of everything that is going on. Kaya sabi niya, I am confident that God will save me. And look at verse 4. Psalm 27 verse 4. The one thing I want from God. See, it's not so glamorous. Ano po? Hindi masyadong uh, marangya o, o, o masyadong maraing uh, palamuti. Sabi niya, one thing, isa lang. Not many things. Sabi niya, the one thing I want from God The thing I seek most of all is the privilege of meditating in His temple or in His house. Sabi nga nung, living in His presence every day of my life, delighting in His incomparable perfections and glory. Sa Tagalog po ng verse 4, ito pong sabi, Isang bagay ang inihiling ko sa Panginoon, ito ang tanging ninanais ko na ako'y manirahan sa Kanyang templo. Habang ako'y nabubuhay upang, pag, upang mamasdan na ang kanyang kadakilaan at hilingin sa kanya ang kanyang patnubay. The experience of the goodness and greatness of God made David think about how wonderful it is to seek Him and to experience His presence. Now, continuing in verse 5, sabi po niya, There I will be when trouble comes. See? When trouble comes, where will you be? Ano po sabi niya? I will be in the presence of my God. He will hide me. Puputektahan niya ako. Hindi po po sabi sa Psalms 19.21. He will hide me under the shadow of the Almighty. He will set me up on a high rock. Sabi niya, para hindi ako madulas, hindi ako matisod, out of reach of all my enemies, then I will bring him sacrifices. Look at verse, verse 6. I will bring him sacrifices of praise And sing, and sing His praises with much joy. So we learn from Psalms 27 that confidence in God brings us what? Brings us stability, brings us uh, 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 joy. And then uh, He says, I will desire this one thing 
from the Lord. I will desire this one thing. Ano po, na isa lang ang gusto ko sa Panginoon and I will seek after. Ito talaga yung pagsusumikapan ko. I will spend all my energy, all my effort, and all my time seeking the Lord uh, and meditating in His temple. Now, maybe most of you are telling me now, uh, Pastor, we cannot go to the temple, we cannot go to the church because of lockdown. Ano po, we, are, we have all these restrictions. I heard in the Philippines, again, they have curfew, they have a lot of restrictions, they have lockdown, and it's the same thing that is going on in uh, in uh, in Sydney and in some other states in Australia. They have a very restri- uh, uh, restrictions of not meeting together in churches. So how can we say that uh, we delight in going to his temple? Remember, uh, it's not so much the the physical building or the physical structure but the bible tells us that god is a spirit and we can worship him everywhere and anywhere ano po? and then to go much further than be than the temple of god we don't need to go too far because the bible tells us in first corinthians that we are the temple of god we are the temple of the holy spirit meaning that we can praise him we can worship him we can meditate on him through our hearts and in our hearts. Ano po, you don't need to go to po further. Ang napakaganda po, uh, our relationship with God is not affected by lockdowns. It is not affected by social distancing. It's not affected by being afraid to uh, to uh, to be infected by this virus, by this COVID. But God is in our heart. Ano po, and we can rejoice uh, with that truth. If you are a believer, you can rejoice in the truth. And you can say with David, one thing I desire of the Lord, dito, dito lang ang gusto ko, not so many things in life. Ano po, not so many things in life. Then I can go on later in, in my talk uh, about the contentment that we can learn uh, uh, from God and from uh, from uh, Him being our Father and being our provider and sustainer. Now, in Psalms 84, ano po, Psalms 84, look at this again. This is not a Psalm of David. This is a psalm of uh, uh, of one of the music directors in the temple during the time of uh, David and Solomon. It can be Asap or it can be the ch- one of the children of Asap. Ano po na mga pamilya ni Kohat. Ano po sabi po ganun. Look at that. Go, go, go with me in Psalms 84 verse 10 to 11. Ano po again I will be reading in the New Living Translation. So sabi po sa may uh, Psalms 8, 7, uh, 84 a single day, isang araw lang po, sabi niya ganun, a single day is spent in your house, in your temple, is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorman or a gatekeeper, ano po, sabi po niya ganun, I would rather be a doorman or a gatekeeper of the temple of my God than live in palaces of sinful people or of, 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 of wickedness. Look at verse 11. For Jehovah God is our light. Inulit na naman po niya. No? Sabi ni David kanina sa Psalm 27, God is my light and my salvation. No? Sabi naman dito sa, sa Psalm 84. Sabi, For Jehovah God is our light and our protector. Siya po yung ating tagapag, uh, tagapag-ingat. He gives us grace and glory. Look at this. No good thing will He withhold from those who walk along his paths. Ano po, sabi pong ganun na uh, uh, a time spent at God's house ano po, was better and more valuable than time spent elsewhere. Uh, uh, and, and we can also uh, find this in Paul's writing uh, in Philippians 3.8 which says, I count lost and everything lost for the excellency of the knowledge of rest. Wala, walang halaga sa akin ng maraming mga bagay dito sa daigdig, kundi ang napakahalaga sa akin ay ang pagkakakilala ko sa Diyos. And then, uh, uh, sa, sa Psalm 73, verse 25, and dito po, ay, 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 ito rin ay Psalm sa o, o awit ni Asaph, sabi niya, Whom have I in heaven but you? Ano? Panginoon, sino, sino ang... Ang, ang para sa akin sa langit, kundi ikaw. Now, tatanggin ko po kayo, ano po ang natutuhan ninyo dito sa may pandemic? So, we are now almost, uh, if, I, if I'm not wrong in my counting, this is, uh, we are getting close to two years now of this pandemic. Ano po, hindi pa natatapos. Uh, and it's getting worse. 
Ano po ang natutuhan natin sa pandemic? We learn a lot in the pandemic. We learn a lot na we can live and we can survive by uh, uh, by uh, having not so many things that we used to do back then nung wala pang COVID. Ano po? Tignan po ninyo, no? Some of you, you love, you love to go shopping. And some of you, since you love shopping, or you love to go to party, or you love to go to uh, uh, to hang out with your friends, ano po, now that maraming lockdown, you cannot do many of those things. Ano po, na hindi mo magagawa. At uh, marami din bagay na hindi mo uh, 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 makasama dahil sa mga mga pagbabawal ng mga gathering o yung mga social distancing. So ano po mga tinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon na uh, we can we can really live a life uh, without having a lot of things na kasama natin to, to, to the point na yung mga bagay na yun ay nakakahadlang sa ating fellowship sa Panginoon. Kaya ang sabi po niyang ganun, ang sabi po ni ni David, uh, mas gusto ko ano uh, nung, nung writer ng Psalms 84, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God, not so many titles. Ano? I may not be a pastor, I may not be a bishop, I may not be a minister, I may not be a famous, I may not be uh, uh, having this uh, uh, special role in our church or in our company, in our community, in our school. Wala man tayong mga titulo. Sabi niya ganun, doorman. Ano po alam niyo yung doorman, yung gatekeeper? Siya lang po yung tagabukas ng, ng, ng pintuan ng templo at siya rin yung tagasara. That means, that means po, she is the first one to be there in the temple and he's the last one to live. And I don't believe that the high priest in the temple announced every Sunday or every Wednesday, kung meron silang service dun sa temple uh, during the weekday, that they will announce, hey, so and so is our doorkeeper na nagbubukas ng pinto at nagsasara no I'm, pra, I'm, I'm most sure na kapag ikaw ay gatekeeper o tiga bukas at tiga sara lang ng pintuan ng templo you are not so recognized and yet ang sabi po niya I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God you know why? because I can be so close to God ano po? there the presence of God is not in the temple not the, the structure again not the building but the presence of God in the temple, so kasa kanya, ang pinakamalaga ay hindi yung mga successes, yung mga, yung mga expectations na mga, na ito magangyayari, o hindi ito magangyayari, ito magagawa natin sa Panginoon, o hindi. So, kundi sa kanya, napakalaga, it should best be in the presence of God, even though He is not being recognized, o siya ay mga kinikilala, ano po, in since so many things, sabi niya, a single day in your temple, is better than a thousand elsewhere. Yung isang araw lang, yung, isa, yung konting panahon lang sa templo ng Diyos, sa kanyang presensya, ay mas gusto ko na kaysa kung saan-saan ako napapasama na wala naman yung presensya ng Panginoon. And then, and then, and then again, I can say na, na if that is your heart's desire na palagi, no, Panginoon, I just want to be in your presence. And then there is what? There is so much into it. Ang sabi niya ganun, ah, uh, no good thing, sabi sa verse 11, 84, Psalm 11, no good thing will God withhold from me. Ano? Walang mabuting bagay na ilalayo o ipagkakait ng Diyos sa atin kung ang ating heart, ang ating puso, ang ating damdamin ay nandoon lang sa templo niya, nandoon lang sa presensya niya. Ano po? And then, let us go further. Ano po? Let us go further. Ano? Kaya, kaya, ko lang po, kaya, ko po na, kaya ko po nakuha yun at pinili kong verse yung 84 verse 10 a one day in your court, ano po, yun lang ang gusto ko, o uh, sa yung templo, kasi now that we are no, uh, we are not allowed to go to many places, may mga travel ban, that we want to go to some places, but we cannot because of the travel ban, but we can always be in the presence of the Lord, na walang pamasahe, walang passport, walang permit, walang, walang hassle, walang risk na mahawa ka ng COVID, kundi right there you are safe and enjoying the presence of God right there sa puso mo because that is the temple of, of God not really the building now one more verse in Psalm 16 tignan po niyo ang sabi dito again eh, uh, ng, ng psalmist o yung pong sumulat ng Psalms Psalms uh, 16 verse 11 ang sabi po niya rito it's, it's very short ang sabi po niya you make known to me the path of life ano po, pinakita mo sa akin o pinaalam mo sa akin ang daan ng buhay. And so who, is the, who is the path of life? 
who said that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that's Jesus Christ. Hindi po ba? So, even in the Old Testament, um, uh, we can see the prophecy uh, that uh, the path of life that we can find in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi po niya sa may Psalm 66, 16, verse 11, You make known to me the path of life. Ang sabi niya, in your presence. Sabi po niya, in your presence, there is fullness of joy. Sabi niya, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In Tagalog, sabi po niya, itinuro niyo sa akin ang landas patungo sa buhay na puno ng what? Puno ng kasiyahan. At sa piling niyo, Panginoon, sabi niya, sa piling niyo, Panginoon, aking matatagpuan ang ligayang walang hanggan. That's why I titled this message, A Simple Life and Yet Happy and Pleasing to God. Ang sabi po ng psalmist, uh, in your presence, there is fullness of joy. And this is something, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, this is something you don't want to miss. You don't want to miss to spend time in the presence of God. And, some, and, and God, uh, and gave us, God gave us opportunities to be in His presence in our closet. When we are praying and doing our uh, a personal devotion, there we are privately in the presence of God. But then we can, but God also made us as a believer, He put us in a family of God. Kaya po napakahalaga to be a part of the family of God and we called it the church na po yung pong simbahan o yung samahan ng mga mananpalataya and you don't want to miss the presence of God in that gathering. Ano po yung gathering ng mga uh, pinabanal ng Diyos. Kaya po sabi niya ganun, ay in your presence there is joy evermore. Ano po, hindi ko nahihilingin na ako may mga titulo at marami akong mga uh, mga nagawa o hindi nagawa kundi ang, ang gusto ko lang ay to spend uh, my time, my life in the presence of the Lord because in the presence of the Lord there is what? The fullness of joy. Ang tao ngayon, marami pong tao ngayon ay nalulungkot. Uh, masyado silang nababagabag sa mga nangyayari dahil sa pandemic, sa lockdown, sa economic uh, breakdown. And then, and, and, and a lot of presses ay marami pong kaguluhan. Ano po, yung dating nananahimik na sanang bansa ng Afghanistan, ano po, na, na uh, for, for uh, about 10 or 20 years, um, halos meron na po silang kapayapaan na nararanasan. And just the last week po, ngayon nagkakagulo na naman doon. And who knows? na yung kaguluhan doon sa Afghanistan I will spread in other countries and what and 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 then and then I can go on and on with the bad report ano po kaya minsan din na po ako nanonood at nag nakikinig ng balita kasi it's, it's just very stressful ano po it's very stressful so while the world is not getting better we believer we have a sure foundation we have a sure place to go and experience the fullness of joy and that is the presence of God. Kaya sabi po sa may Psalm 16, I will just repeat, in your presence, there is fullness of joy. So when when you have an opportunity to come together to worship God in person, then bless God. Ano po? And if you have an opportunity like this online, to still be in the presence of God and to be in the presence, kahit na virtual online, with the people of God studying the Bible, worshiping the Bible, uh, doing their Sunday service, then don't miss it because God is always what? is there and where the presence of God, there is the fullness of joy. Now, let me jump now to, to another Psalms. Psalms 122 verse 1. Ano po? And again, thank you for all. I can see a lot of people's name coming up in my screen that they are watching. Ano po? Uh, Uh, people in the Philippines and here in Jacksonville and also in some places. Go, go with me. Psalms 122 verse 1. Ano po? And again, this is a, uh, this is a song of David. Ano po? Uh, balik siya. Tingnan po niyo yung nakalagay doon. Ano po? Uh, very exciting. Ano po? Something that you don't want to, don't want to miss in your Christian life. Tingnan po niyo yung nakalagay sa samay Salmo 122 verse 1. I was glad, sabi po ni David, I was glad When they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Then meron siyang mga kaibigan. Uh, uh, he's, got, uh, he's got some friends who's inviting him to come with them. To come with them. To where? To Jerusalem in the temple of God to worship God. Sabi po niya ganun, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Look at the excitement. 
ano, he is not yet in the presence of the Lord. He is not yet in the temple. He just heard the invitation that his friends wants to uh, to invite him to come to the Lord. Wala pa siya sa church. Ini-invite pa lang siya. Masaya na siya. And this is the attitude of you Christian. If you are saved, you are forgiven, you are blessed by God. There should be no dull moment or there should be no hesitance or there should be no regret o yung, uh, yung mabigat na yung paamo na kinakaladkad mo papunta sa presensya ng Panginoon. Ang sabi ni David, I was glad, masaya ako. Hindi ako nabibigatan, hindi ako nagdadahilan, hindi ako uh, uh, nag-iisip ng kung ano pa man. Sabi niya, I was glad when they said to me, well, what? Let us go to the house of the Lord. Ako ay nagagalak ng sabihin nila sa akin, pumunta tayo sa templo ng Diyos. Why? Because then I will meet with my God. Then I will hear His word. Then I can open my worship and the worship of, of my other uh, uh, brothers and sisters and the Lord. And we're gonna have some fun. So yung po yun, ano po, and that attitude, it's that I'm not gonna go there to feel sorry that, that, that the, about a lot of things na hindi nilinis yung temple, na maingay yung mga baka, maingay yung mga kambing na ilaahain sa Panginoon. Then it, the way to, to Jerusalem is so dusty and then uh, ito so hot. No, even instead of complaining about a lot of things, just be simple. Okay? Enjoy. Even, even you're not there, just knowing that I will be in the house of God and will be in the presence of God. Sabi ni David, I am glad. If you want to be glad, have the same attitude. Always be excited. Ano po? Always be excited. Ano po? Sometimes I'm thinking, doing this Friday night, I'm thinking if there are only two, there are only two people who gonna watch me on, on Friday night, then I will be happy. In fact, I told, I told uh, uh, some of those people, if you are the only one who will, watch, who will watch me on Friday night, I will still continue this. Even there is no more pandemic, there is no COVID, even there is only one person watching me every Friday night, Uh, I know I know it's not because there's so many of you, then I will still do it out of excitement of the Word of God and helping you out there. If you are feeling lonely and down, confused and hopeless, then there is the Word of God that can refresh you, that can put you back where God wants you and that's to be in His presence. Ano po? Simpleng buhay. Look at John and I will about to, uh, about to end. John 6. Ito na po si Jesus Christ and his disciples. Ano po? Uh, John 6:65 to 68. John 6:65 to 68. Tingnan po ninyo na po. I'm talking about a simple happy life and yet pleasing to the Lord. If you are a Christian, that is your main goal to please God, to make him happy. Ano po? Not to perform, not to, uh, not, not to uh, uh, give him a lot of things except your heart. Because if you give your heart, then the, then the other lot of things will come with it. Ano po kasama na yun? Psalm, uh, John 6.65 Jesus Christ said something that offended the disciples. Lahat po siya mga disciples na open sila doon sa sinabi ng Panginoon. Ano po? Ano po? And, and, and sometimes it happens. Uh, look at this. John 6, 65 to 68. He went on to say, Jesus went on to say, This is why I told you, talking to the disciples, ano po, maybe, uh, there are, remember, there are not only 12 disciples back then. There are more than 70 because when he sent them 70, he sent them, and there's also time that he sent 120 disciples to preach. So, lahat ng disciples, kausap niya, sabi niya, uh, Jesus went on to say, This is why I told you, that no one can, can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. So they were offended with that statement. And this is Jesus Christ talking. Ano po? Na-open sila. We look at verse 56. From this time, pagkasabi ni Jesus Christ, yung sinabi niya na, uh, unless the Father has enabled you to come to me. Verse 66. From this time, many of his disciples, ano po, sabi niya, many of disciples turned back and no longer followed him ayaw nang sumunod ayaw nang ayaw nang ayaw nang sumama sa kanya verse 67 tinanong niya yung kanyang mga disciples ano po yung malalapit sa kanya sabi ganun uh, you do not want to live to do you hindi niyo hindi niyo gustong umalis din di ba sabi niya jesus asked the 12 no doon niya dinirektahan niya sa 12 na kanyang mga disipulo look at verse 68 
most of the time, uh, a lot of people criticize Peter for talking things that he doesn't know. Uh, without even thinking, he just blurted out what's ever in his mind. But this is the thing that I I appreciate about Peter in verse 68. Tignan nyo, nung tinanong sila ni Jesus Christ sa 67, kayo ba'y aalis din? Dahil sa sinabi ko. Tignan nyo yung sagot ni Peter. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Panginoon, kanino kami sasama? Kanino kami pupunta? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. 68 in Tagalog. Sumagot si Pedro, Panginoon, kanino po kami pupunta? Kayo lang ang may mensaheng nagbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan. Lord, where shall we go? Where shall we go? Especially in this time of, of confusion, at, 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 of uncertainties. Uh, you, 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 you'll never know what will happen next. You know, One day you are healthy. The next day your whole family is uh, infected by this COVID or, you, or some of your labor. You, there is no telling. Ano po? There is no telling and, and all this confusion. So what will you do if you're a believer? Okay? Come and be close. To Jesus Christ, Lord, to whom shall we go? Yes, Lord, we don't understand a lot of things going on. Lord, we are being hurt. We are being offended. Look at that. They have been offended. They don't want to come to Jesus Christ anymore. They don't want to follow Him. And then Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Wala kami pupuntahan, kundi ikaw lang. Ikaw lang, Panginoon, dahil nasa iyo ang buhay na walang hanggan. And with that word of eternal life comes everything that we need in this life and even this time that we are living in. Now, uh, uh, you remember a simple life that Jesus Christ told his listeners one time? A very simple life and yet very powerful. Look, look at this and I will about to end. Okay, Matthew 6, 25 to 34. You remember Jesus Christ told them not to worry? Ano po? And who of us doesn't worry? Ano po? And up, uh, I'm pretty sure some of you... Uh, uh, watching me tonight, uh, you may be worrying about a lot of things. But look at this. Listen, listen to this. And this is the life that what, that God wants us to live every day. Uh, uh, Matthew 6, 25 to 34. Therefore, I tell you, sabi po niya, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food? Sabi po niya. And the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, reap, no, or stone away in barns. And yet, sabi niya ganun yung mga ibon. Sabi, hindi nagtatanim, hindi umaani, at hindi nag, naglalagak ng kanilang maraming pagkain sa kaban. Ang sabi pong ganun. And yet, your heavenly father feeds them. Pinapakain sila ng Panginoon. Are you not much more valuable than they? Hindi ba kayo mas mahalaga kaysa sa mga ibong pipit? O sa mga, sa mga sparrow? Can you... Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single day to your life? Ang sabi niya, verse 28. And why do you worry about clothes? Bakit ang dami niyo masyadong pinag-aabalahan pinag ng inyong pag-iisip hanggang kayo ma-stress, ma-depress, at, uh, at uh, magkaroon ng napakaraming sakit? Sabi niya, and, and why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, look at this, listen to this. Will he not much more clothe you? Di ba dakay dadamitan niya? You of little faith? Sub 31. So do not worry. Sabi niya, saying what shall we eat, what shall we drink, or what shall we, we wear? For the pagans run after all these things. Yung pagans, yung mga hindi nakakakilala sa Diyos. And, and, but verse 32, But your heavenly father knows that you need them. Ang sabi niya, you need them. And then, then look at this. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be given to you as well. Kasama na po doon yung injection. Ano po? And all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Its day has enough trouble of its own. What Jesus is saying, live a simple life of trusting and putting your confidence in God. Hindi ka niya pagkukulangin, hindi ka niya pababayaan. Nakakita na ba kayang ibon na hinimatay habang lumilipad dahil sa gutom? No! No! 
I heard now now in the Philippines and we've been praying for the Philippines and we will again pray before I end we will pray for the Philippines that a lot of people have closed their businesses lost their job and now are really suffering very hard because of the restrictions the lockdown na na, na ini-impose sa kanila sa Pilipinas and we we will pray for that and then if you are a child of God uh uh Your hope is still what? Is still in God, is still in Jesus who said, Do not worry about these things. God cares about you. You are important to God. Ano po, you are important to God. Uh, I will end with Philippians 4, 11 to 13. And, and, and this is a very famous verse. And you heard this so many times. You read books about this so many times. You have memorized this. But I want you, this is the simplicity of life that I'm telling you that is pleasing to God. And that is, will cause us a lot of joy and confidence, not in ourselves, not in other people, not even in our successes, okay? But only in God. Look at what Paul says in, in Philippians 4, 11 to 13. Not that I was ever in need. Ano po sabi niya? For I have learned, sabi niya, in God I have learned how to get along happily, whether I have much or little. Ano po sabi niya ganun? Ano, natutuwa ako kahit meron o wala. I know how to live on almost nothing, or with everything. I have learned the secret of contentment in every situation. I am a content person. I'm a contented person because of Jesus Christ. Okay? And then it says that, whether it be a full stomach or hunger, plenty or want, for I can do everything. Ang tingnan po sabi niya, no? I can do everything God asked me to do with the help of Christ who gives me the strength and power so there is no need if you are a Christian if you are a believer whether you've been a one day old Christian or you've been a you've been so uh, uh, so many years in your Christian life it's still that the uh, it's still a uh, uh, God wants you to live a simple life of just enjoying his presence desiring his presence desiring uh, the uh, uh, the company of his people of God's people whether it is online whether it is in person just being there and then Paul said I have learned the content and I learned this through my God saan sabi po niya ganun through my God and I can do everything that God asked me to do with the help of Christ who gives me the strength and power hey guys I'm telling you I'm telling you there is you are so much blessed ano? the other things in life you may not have them the other expectations the other plans that you have in your life may not even come true so what? Your happiness is not your success. Your happiness and your joy and your contentment is not in the uh, is not in the uh, uh, the things that you expect to happen uh, in your life. In your life, now they may not come in, but your joy and your and your contentment is God who is there, living right there in your heart. So whether uh, whatever happens, whatever happens, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I love His presence. I desire His face. I desire to seek uh, the wisdom and the presence of God in my life. I am glad. Again, I will tell you, I am glad when they said to me, come, come, let us go to church and let us worship God. Amen. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with my message tonight. Simple night that is happy and pleasing to God. And there is no money and there is no amount of anything in this life that can match us. It is only you and God and who is God who is in your heart and in my heart. Amen. Uh, we have some prayer requests. Again, guys, visit our website, filipinofamilygathering.com and also visit our YouTube channel, uh, Filipino Family Gathering International Ministries and you will see us there. And then also, uh, if God is touching you, To give online, you will find it on our website. If God is touching you to support our, uh, our our missions for children in many places, you can find us that, and you can do your donation online. On online, if God is touching you, uh, obey Him on that. Okay, let 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 us pray. Let us pray before we separate. Lord, uh, I I praying first, Lord, for all these people who have watched me tonight. Lord, I pray for your blessing, your covering, your favor be upon them, and most of all the power of your Holy Spirit to come upon their lives, Lord, that they will always be reminded that you are for them, 
You are with them, you are in them, you are above them, you are under them, you are behind them, and you are in front of them. Let your Holy Spirit come upon them and empower their lives that they will know that the joy of the Lord is their strength. In Jesus' name. Lord, so God, I, I, I pray now for the Philippines, Lord. I pray for every friend that we have in the Philippines, Lord. Every family uh, of our friends in the Philippines, Lord, who is experiencing difficulty because of uh, the many restrictions and the many effects of this COVID. In the name of Jesus, touch them, provide for them. God, just do to them what you have done in, in the people of Israel when they, when they were in Goshen, Lord. Everybody else is having a hard time, but your own people is being blessed. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I also praying for our all our nurses, Lord. Uh, in, in, in Europe, God, in London, all our nurses in the Philippines, all our nurses here in the United States, in Australia, those who are working uh, in the healthcare uh, where they are being uh, exposed, Lord, I pray for your covering be upon them, your protection be upon them, in the name of Jesus and also with uh, to their family. Lord, we pray healing for Shirley and, and recovery, Lord. Uh, uh, we, we, we pray that you touch them, God, and all our friends who need recovery from their surgery, Lord, uh, Bell, uh, Bell Manango, God, in Isabella, uh, Rene Sagkal here in Jacksonville, uh, and, uh, and, and, and we, Lord God, in Tai Tai Rizal, and whoever else is need healing for their body, uh, Margo's mom uh, is also still recovering, touch them, Lord, with your healing hand, in the name of Jesus. Be blessed, and be a blessing. This is Pastor Eddie of Jacksonville, Florida, wishing you and praying that you will be so blessed that your life will be a blessing to many people. Stay safe and make other people safe. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. See you again next week.